Hi, I'm Vanessa and I'm the food lead with Andover Parish. And today I want to show you a really delicious, really simple recipe to make. We're making jeweled couscous. We don't need an oven, we don't need an air fryer, we don't need a hob or anything for this one, just some boiling water. So first of all, we're going to need the couscous. The couscous is, uh, couscous is one of these magic wonder grains in that it has all sorts of protein in it, not just carbohydrate, lots of really good things for you. So it can make a nutritious meal really easily. I'm just going to pour that into the bowl. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to make some stock. So I've just got an ordinary stock cube. If you're really, really clever, you can save all your vegetable peelings and boil them up to make your own stock. But stock cubes can work just as well. Just boiling that into, into some boiling water here. Give it a bit of a stir. And then two cups of this. I'm using vegetable stock. Um, all our recipes are vegetarian, but it doesn't mean you can't add meat to it if that's what you'd prefer, or fish. Something like this will really absorb anything. And it's a great dish for any leftovers. If you have a big Sunday lunch and you've got lots of food left over, you just use that as your jewels. So what I'm going to do now that the water is in with the couscous, or the stock, should I say, is put a tea towel over it so it can steam. Nice and easy. Now we need to make our jewels. Now we have very kindly been given some delicious fruit and veg from Abel and Cole, excuse me, <coughs> who support us in our work for the Good Grub Clubs alongside Simply Health. Um, and what we have in stock today, I've got some cucumber, nice big cucumber there, courgette, and what a lot of people don't realize is that courgette, courgettes, even, can be eaten raw. You don't have to cook them. They're nice and crunchy in salads. And then this looks like a bit of a beast. It's, um, it's a baby sweet corn. And when you peel all the layers off, you get this, which can be eaten whole. Here's a lemon in a moment. So I'm just going to do some chopping, just to remind us of the safe techniques. The best thing that you can do is form a bridge with your fingers. Can you see that? So that you're holding whatever it is you're cooking, cutting even, and put the knife in between so you can't actually chop your fingers. Now, some, my new discovery is this. It's a chopper which um, you just push down on. So brilliant if you're getting your children to cook, cook with you. So just chop the end off. Apparently dogs like those, like so. Discard those and then just keep chopping. If you're the type of person who doesn't like to have um, edges on things, you don't like crusts on bread or you don't like um, rough size to fruit and vegetables, you can of course peel this first. And if you're trying to disguise vegetables from children, um, a, a good way um, Courgettes are brilliant because there's not an awful lot to see there once you've taken the green off from the outside. I'm just going to dice those, chop them into little squares, but your jewels, of course, can be any shape you want them to be. And this isn't some great piece of expensive culinary cooking. You can get it online really easily, and it didn't cost me much at all. So I've got some green and white jewels here. Dried fruit can make good jewels, and if you really want to push the boat out, then um, pomegranate is delicious with it. So I've got my courgette there. Ready to go in. And a cucumber. I saw a lovely meme which uh, thanked cucumbers for doing the Heavy lifting for mums everywhere and getting children to eat fruit and vegetables. They do seem to be a bit of a favourite. But again, if you've got a child who's a bit sensory or um, very visual about what they eat, then maybe you want to take the outside off so they can't quite see what they're eating. It feels a bit like cheating, but anything to get our children eating healthily. I 
have got a delicious recipe for courgette cupcakes, which is another fantastic way to feed uh, vegetables to your children. Ooh. All at a time is probably better. And I'll pop those in the pot for later as well. A few more jewels there. Some are even staying in the bowl. There we go. And I am actually going to chop our um, baby sweet corn up. I'm going to take the end off because that looks a bit less than tasty and the, the bit the very top of it, top and tailing it. I'm just chopping that into some smaller jewels. That will go in as well. So all what we're waiting for is our couscous to be light and fluffy. So a quick look then, you can see it has absorbed all that water already. I'm just going to give it a quick stir with a fork, fluff it up. Now sometimes if you buy a packet of couscous, it will give you a really complicated way of cooking or preparing it on the back. Ignore that, just follow my way, it's much, much simpler. So it's looking really quite fluffy now, can you see that? I'm going to add a bit more seasoning. Um, actually, I'm not going to put salt in it because stock cubes are often quite salty, so I'll put that to one side, but I will add some pepper. If you wanted to add herbs or spices, now would be a good time to do that. Maybe some parsley. Our baby sweet corn's gone in. Our courgette chunks. And our cucumber jewels too. Then just give that all a big stir. And as I said, you could add prawns to this, you could add chicken to it, you could leave anything from your leftover Sunday lunch, raid the fridge and add that to it. I'm going to add some lemon now um, to make it a bit zingy, a bit, um, a bit wake everything up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grate it on the, the roughest, the smallest holes on the side of the box grater, just to get some of that zest ready. You don't want to go too deep on this, otherwise you end up cutting right into the white, the pithy bit, which is quite bitter. We just want it tart and zingy. Be really careful not to grate your fingers whilst you're doing this. And once that's done, just pop it in. You might have to, I'm gonna make a noise here, bang it a bit. And if you're feeling super zingy, or you're not feeling zingy at all, you'd like to be, you can squeeze some lemon juice in as well. So I'm just going to cut that lemon in half using that bridge technique. and squeeze it in. Give it a stir. Deliciously zingy, lemony, vegetable-y, fruity, very, very summery, bejeweled couscous. <laughs>